Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF Extended Bottle for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week look out for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get time for that for you in a moment. Just say that first video is saying it was our 6 of UK weather forecast. We've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on today as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much for doing that. Pay treasure ECMWF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start off with the uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly for next week, taking us from the 4th through to the 11th of March. So we see high pressure up here over Scandinavia, low pressures out in the Atlantic. Oh, it looks unsettled with winds coming up from a southerly or a southeasterly direction next week. 500 millibar height anomaly show an area of above average heights to our east and northeast. Low pressure below average heights out to west southwest. Again, winds coming up from a southerly or a southeasterly direction. Temperature anomaly then next week for the UK and Ireland are a little bit above average. Our temperature scale are about 1 3 degrees above normal, so actually quite substantially above average. Um, and precipitation anomalies are west of an average to our west and southwest and drive an average to our east and northeast. Week two will be the 11th to the 18th of March. High pressure going more towards the north, going into retrogression a little bit around Green Iceland. Low pressure is from south. And again, winds coming in potentially from an easterly direction. 500 millibar height anomalies look like this with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland and Iceland, below our heights, low pressure south. And again, winds should be coming in from more of an easy direction with that one. The temperature anomaly is about average, maybe ever so slightly above, but certainly cools down from week one to week two. And precipitation wise, it's wetter than average to our south and driving an average up to the north. Week three <laughs> will be the 18th to the 25th of March. This one again with high pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland, great pressure to our south and east. Again, winds could be coming in from a northeasterly direction. The temperature anomaly. Looks like that, with below average heights over to the east of the country, above average heights out to the Atlantic. Again, winds could be coming in from a northeasterly direction. That looks like it could be quite cold there. Uh, temperature anomalies are going colder to our north, so uh, below average in Scandinavia, Nordic regions, Iceland, etc. We are about average, but we could be tapping into some of that colder air if the wind is coming in from the northeast. And the precipitation anomaly is drier than average to our north and west, and wetter than average to our south and east. Week 4 will be the 25th of March to the 1st of April. Again, we see a strong blocking signal to the north, below average heights, low pressure south, winds still coming in, potentially from an east or northeast direction. Looks like this could be a very delayed spring after an exceptionally mild winter. Typical, isn't it? Blocking around Greenland, low pressure south, Again, winds coming in from an east or a north east direction, potentially with that. To be temperature anomaly is no better than average, it's colder than normal up to the north. And precipitation anomalies are wetter than normal. Um, go for week five, which is the first through to the 8th of April, with again a blocking area of high pressure with green ice and low pressure south winds coming in. From the east, no change. So 500 millibar heights look like that. We're blocking around green ice and low pressure south winds coming in from the east. The temperature anomaly is colder than average to the north. And as far as precipitation anomalies are concerned, it's wetter than average to the south and drier than average up to the north. And then lastly, week six will be the 8th, 15th of April, with uh, low pressure to the south, high pressure <laughs> to the north, um, 500 millibar heights, rinse, repeat, really, 500 millibar heights with blocking to the north, low pressure to the south, and as far as temperatures are concerned, they can be about average up. No, go slightly above. Uh, precipitation, lastly, in week six, which average south, driving average up to the north. It looks like a very delayed spring, I have to say. If this is right, we're going to be in for lots of northern blocking winds from the north and from the east, and it means that the northern areas will get the driest of the conditions, southern areas, areas will get the wettest of the conditions, and temperatures are going to be subdued, I'm afraid. Um, oh, there we go. We'll see how it pans out. You know how this model was forecasting blocking throughout the winter, but never 
materialise. So it would be typical, though, wouldn't it? But it does finally show up in March and April. Anyway, that's how it looks today. So uh, we shall see. Remember, any forum cards on five, seven days because we've been Cowboys last week. Pinch the start attached. We'll be back a little bit later on with weekend forecast. 8, 10, and 14. Dad. We'll be looking at this model again on Tuesday with a wider uh, European focus. For this one, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.